Hi teacher, hi classmates, I'm Hans Gabriel of GT6. Today, I will be doing air friction. First, let's know air friction. Air friction acts in the opposite direction and reduces the acceleration. First, we will need a crumpled paper. and an intact paper. First trial. As you can see, the crumpled paper fell first. Second trial. Last trial. On the first trial, the crumpled paper fell faster. Second trial, the crumpled paper fell faster. Third trial, the crumpled paper fell faster. First trial, the plain paper fell slower. Second trial, the plain paper fell slower. Third trial, the plain paper fell slower. Therefore, I conclude that the crumpled paper is faster than the plain paper. Based on your answer in table number one, between the crumpled paper and the uncrumpled paper, which object reached the floor first? My answer is A, crumpled paper. Number two, does air affect the falling of the two papers? Why? My answer is A, yes. The air opposes the movement of the two papers. Number three, which object experienced the greater force of air? Why? My answer is B, the plain paper because of its wide or big surface area in the contact with air. Number four, how does air friction affect the movement of falling objects? Choose the correct answer inside the parenthesis. Air friction slows down the motion of falling objects. Therefore, the bigger or greater the surface area of falling objects, the greater air friction is. The smaller the surface of area, the lesser air friction. Thank you for watching. Bye!